You can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Sooner or later, gotta... hey y'all, it's Tech 1709, and this is my third attempt at this video. Uh, <laughs> I've made a couple of rookie mistakes today. My first attempt at this video was uh, a little earlier. Uh, I was out just riding looking for a good spot to, to film my intro. And I, I happened to, uh, across a really great spot. Uh, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It just goes to show, I mean... Uh, you know, when you're when you're willing to get off the beaten path and uh, you know go exploring, sometimes you find some really good uh, some really good spots. So yeah, I uh, I went exploring and uh, I found a really good spot to do my my intro and my outro. I kind of did them at the same time and. Uh, I failed to realize that on my uh, on my drift, which isn't the camera that I used to film the uh, uh, the intro, I used my new uh, my new contour, which I'll get to later. But uh, I didn't realize that when I uh, did my last video, I forgot to charge it. So. Um, I went to do my vlog, which, as you guys know, the uh, the contours don't have a, a an external mic, so I really can't use that for motor vlogging. So I had no battery. You know, stupid rookie mistake. So uh, earlier tonight, around I don't know, around seven o'clock, it's about nine-ish now. I decided, okay, I'm going to try this again. Gave my uh, my drift a decent charge. My we're gonna go do this. So I rode downtown, you know, thinking, okay, I'll do something different. I'll ride around downtown for a little bit and do a vlog. Well, I did it, and it came out fine, so I thought. But uh, I get back and I find out, <laughs> I forgot to turn on night mode, so you can't see anything. So, I made two rookie mistakes in the course of one day. So it's not shaping up to be a very great day, but I got my intro and all that uh, filmed, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Okay, so new camera, right? I, uh, I went out and I bought the, uh, the Contour Roam, which is one of the newer, uh, newer updated Contours. I'm really digging the camera. It's nice because unlike the drift where you have to turn it on and then hit record, uh, all you have to do is slide the little mechanism forward and it turns on and records all in one step, which is really nice. The only problem with the contours is obviously there is no way to get an external mic, which, which makes it nearly impossible unless I take the thing apart to do uh, motor vlogs with. Now, when I bought it, um, I didn't buy it with that in mind. <laughs> to be honest, I, I bought it for for this deployment coming up because I want to get some good uh, if I have the chance I want to get some good good shots of the camera and maybe uh, do like a uh, a video diary while I'm over there or video vlog or whatever the hell you want to call it uh, you know I don't I don't intend to put that on YouTube for obvious reasons but uh, 
I wanted something that was small, compact, with a decent resolution. Unfortunately, there's no external mic, but you know what? I'm willing to, to look past that. Um, on the other hand, though, one of the things that I can do with it is use it for another angle when doing my video blogs because I can take the audio from the drift and just use that as the, the baseline audio for the entire video and then so it doesn't matter I'll just mute the, the audio from the uh, from the contour and it will give me the option of having a secondary angle so I can change the angle every once in a while And, you know, the ironic thing is I still haven't gotten to my topic yet. My, you know, without further ado, I'll go into that. So, my topic is kind of a cliche. And it's talking about loud pipes. You know, um, just about anybody who owns a Harley knows that... <sighs> I was expecting a second lane there. Um, everybody that owns a Harley knows that most Harley owners prefer loud pipes. And, you know, in fact, I, I, I put louder pipes on. I mean, it's not the loudest I've ever heard on a Harley, but... You know, and, and the old, I don't know, the old cliche goes, you know, loud pipes save lives. And I, uh, you know, to be honest, I disagree with that. And I think if, if you put loud pipes on for that sole reason then you're making a huge mistake because, you know, sure, there might be circumstances where having a loud pipe might, uh, you know, might be beneficial, it might help traffic hear you um, along with, you know, extra lights and whatnot, it might make you more visible. But, you know, here in America, people are completely oblivious. You know, they got these new quiet interiors going. Uh, people turn up their radio, they blast their air conditioning, nobody can hear you. So if you do it for that reason, you're an idiot. So why did I put louder pipes on this bike? Well, for me, it's purely um, aesthetics. Um, So yeah, for me, the, the louder pipes were primarily because of aesthetics. Um, the, the bike looked great. It just didn't sound, it didn't sound like a 1200 uh, motor in it. Which, I know, for a Harley that's small. But you know, that's beside the point. You know, you would expect a, a, an engine that size to have a decent sound. It just and especially for a Harley, it just, it didn't, it didn't do it for me. So for me, it's all aesthetics. And I know some people do it for, you know, their own reasons, whatever. Um, but let's talk about some cons of loud pipes. And, um, wow, she's pretty hot. Um, a lot of people, even in the motorcycle community, will tell you that loud pipes are annoying. And to a certain extent, they're right. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've been I've been right next to people who, you know, they sit at a, a light, and all they do is rev their engine. And it's like, you know, why? What, what does it achieve? It doesn't make you look cool or anything. Um, so yeah, it, it can be annoying if they're overly loud, and why are we going 30 miles an hour? Oh my God, and you're turning too, holy crap. Of course, you're from California. Uh, so, yeah, they can be kind of annoying. Um, my biggest problem with these pipes... My problem with these pipes are, if I'm riding for uh, a long period of time, uh, like more than 30 minutes or so, uh, I almost have to put in earplugs. Because I've noticed all, I already have hearing problems as it is from other stuff, uh, mostly guns and whatnot from, you know, fire. 
but I already have hearing loss and for me to get off my bike after riding for a couple hours and my ears to be ringing is kind of unusual and a little bit disconcerting so you know if I'm riding for more than 30 minutes or so I'll generally put in uh, earplugs and I would say that the uh, second on my list for downsides for me is I live in an apartment complex and I feel like when I get home really late at night because I'm a night person you know I work nights so a lot of times I'll, I'll go out and ride at night and I'll be gone all night and I'll get back around you know three or four in the morning and I, I feel like I'm waking people up going home God, what is with these lights But yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, I feel like I'm waking people up every time uh, every time I go home at night, which you know I probably am. But that's you, you know what? It, it's worth that price. <laughs> you know, I, I sleep during the day, so I have to put up with everybody else's noise. I, I think the least that they can do for me is uh, put up with uh, my loud pipes. You know, once or twice. Really. Really, so I, I get a block and I get another red light. This is amazing. This is ridiculous. Oh, and look at that. Nobody coming. Nobody. I hate these lights. They're so stupid. Let's try to get this one before it turns red on me too. But yeah, that's all I had for tonight. Y'all uh, y'all have a good one. Come back and see me again, and uh, you drive safe. Have a good one.